Hello everybody, my name is Zool, and welcome to the KOTOR Mod Showcase. In today's episode, we are going to be turning our gaze away from the beautiful and majestic city of Taurus, and taking our gaze high into the skies to look at a ship. That ship is the Endar Spire, and it is the subject of today's mod. The Endar Spire Complete Overhaul is an amazing texture mod by the mod author Jorik Ohm, creator of the Telos Board Overhaul, and the Casino Pazak Animated mod, which I've covered in previous episodes of this series. What this mod does is add beautiful, incredibly high definition, created from scratch textures for the Endar Spire. This mod is the first in a series of mods that's going to be tackling all the different planets in Knights of the Old Republic. As you can see from the footage on our screen, it looks pretty darn good. They, they really suit the way the building looks, and they even have some pretty cool animations to them. I especially like the way the lights flicker and things like that. It looks incredible. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the Endar Spire, but I have to say there's just something about the atmosphere when the lights flicker and there's the smoke and everything's going a little bit crazy because the ship is being attacked that really just makes this whole thing look a lot better. I, I'm not quite sure what it is. There's not much more to say about this mod because again, it is the Endar Spire. Uh, there's not very much to see other than the incredibly beautiful look on the planet that you'll be able to see at the beginning of this video. It's great. Other than that though, other than this amazing view you have out here of the stars and the wonderful textures throughout, the ship pretty much looks exactly the same everywhere you go. It's just a small tutorial area, so there's not much more I can show you than this. I'm mostly just talking right now to let the video run just a little bit longer. Now if you're interested in seeing how to install this mod, stay tuned to the end of the video because I am going to be covering that once we, you know, run through the clips. I mean, you've pretty much seen enough, I'm sure this has convinced you to download and install the mod, so let's go ahead and actually get to the installation section of this video so you can go ahead and install the mod and enjoy this beauty the next time you start up a game on Knights of the Old Republic. The first thing you need to do is head over to this mod's file page. It's linked down in the description of this video. From here, click on this big download button to be taken to this page. From here, you're going to need to download part 1, part 2, part 3, part 1, part 3, part 2, and part 4. Keep in mind, because Deadly Stream only allows you to download a certain number of files at a time, you might have to wait before downloading them all. But once you've done that, drag them all over to your desktop and we can proceed to the next step. Once you're on your desktop, what you're going to need to do is extract all of these into files using WinRAR or 7-Zip or whatever your archiving tool of choice is. So I'm going to go ahead and extract each of these into a separate folder. Okay, now that those files are all extracted into their own folders, open up your Star Wars KOTOR folder. This should be found in Steam, Steam Apps Common, SW KOTOR, or wherever your Star Wars game is installed. From here, open up the folder called Override. Then open up the folder Part 1. What you're going to be doing is taking all the files from Part 1 and dragging and dropping these into your override file. Now to install parts 3 to 4, we're actually going to be doing it a little bit differently. We're not going to directly drag those into our override file. What we're going to be doing is something called an XNView install. If you're not familiar with XNView, it is a piece of software that you can go ahead and download that allows you to browse and convert multimedia files. I've done videos on it in the past and they will be linked in the description. Download and install XNView if you'd like to proceed with the installation of this mod. After the program has been installed, what you're going to need to do is right click on your desktop and create create a new folder. We're going to be placing all of the files from inside part 2, part 3, and part 4 inside this new folder. So now we have a new folder with all of the TGA files from part 2, part 3, and part 4 in it. We can close out of that file, right click on it, and click browse with XN view. This is going to open up the XN view pane that you're going to see here. Once in this pane, we're going to need to select all the files. You can do this by clicking on the first file, clicking shift, and then clicking on the last file to select everything. Then right click on any of the files and go down to the bottom and select back. Batch processing. The batch processing menu is going to look just like this, however there are some things that we're going to need to change. First off, we're going to need to change the output directory. You can do this by going back to your Steam, Steam Apps Common, SW KOTOR override or wherever your override is located, copying this line, and then going back to the directory here, backspacing everything, so just let's backspace this here, and then clicking paste. You can double check to make sure it worked by clicking that button there and making sure that it leads you to the correct override file. 
After you've done that, we're going to need to make sure that that is set to TGA2 Vision Targa because you need that to be the actual option. Then you're going to want to hit the replace button to make sure that everything works properly. After that, we're pretty much good to go and you can click OK and it's going to export the TGA files into the actual override folder and then the mod will be installed. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the like button and leave a comment down below telling me what you'd like to see. If you'd like to see mods for other games, other tutorials, and other showcases, leave a comment down below. Keep in mind that I've done a bunch of other things on my channel including Skyrim and Fallout 3. Currently, we're working on a new Fallout 3 mod organizer tutorial series to help people who haven't played Fallout 3 get the best of the game before Fallout 4 is released. And among other things, please consider subscribing, blah 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 blah, I'm suck at outros, so let's just end it here with some nice, jazzy music. Let's go! Yeah.